you know, in, in all your losses this year, an opposing guard really went off against you guys. I mean, is there a, a vulnerability to your defense right now just against mm. guards who want to drive the ball to the basket? Yeah, I thought that um, um, <clears throat> we, I thought we had it all figured out, um, but it almost broke down uh, an awful lot when, you know, when Nico wasn't in the game, it was, um, uh, it, it hurt us both ends, you know, both on the offensive end, we lost our flow, you know, we had nothing for long, long stretches, and on the defensive end, and then our young guys, there were a lot of a lot of things that we have been doing really, really well the last 12 or 13 games, and um, today, um, you know, we, we, we didn't do a great job with that. We missed a lot of, there's a lot of miscommunication between our big guys and our guards today. Um, and they got us just about every time we screwed it up, you know, and I think, you know, Hannah played a phenomenal game, obviously, you know, she just um, was able to get to the spot she wanted to get to. And, um, but even that, I think the, 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 the game for us came down to, uh, at the other end, we just could not, you know, we get up 12 and then all of a sudden we just stop, you know, for whatever reason. Like we didn't continue building on that, on those runs that we had. And, um, you know, they, you don't get many chances against a really good team. And we squandered some of them. Could you have a microphone, so please wait for that. Pat, go ahead. You know, they, they closed both halves on, on huge, huge runs. What, mm -hmm. what was the difference there? And are you concerned at all about the poise of your team when it gets to crunch time in, the, in these kind of games? Um, not necessarily. I mean, these are the, the only way that you can, um, the only way that you can uh, prepare to be good in these games is when, is when you've been in these situations enough times and, um, I think the, um, you know, where KK and Ash are, Ice, whoever, where, where we are right now, um, we're not there yet. We're not there yet where we can, um, we, that we can stop runs like that, especially, you know, just a lot of things, a lot of things that happened today that, um, uh, I don't know if you saw it, I think it was in the first half, when Paige went down and she smacked her face against the court. And I don't think she was the same coming out of it. Um, that's twice in a week and a half that she's been hit in the face. And um, I thought she was out of it for most of the game. So our young guys had an awful lot. Um, without Nika in the game, KK and Ash had to play way too many minutes in a game like this. So, no, I'm not, I'm not worried about that. I think the more we're in these situations, the better they'll figure it out. Aaliyah was so effective, especially in that first half. Was there, was it something they were doing and especially the fourth quarter that you guys didn't go back to her as much or was it just sort of a change in the game? No, script? no, we, we, we probably should have gone, we probably should have gone to it more. Um, her and her and Paige had a really good two man game going there at the start of the third quarter. Um, but we need, we, you know, Ash didn't make a three tonight, didn't make a three tonight. There were just a lot of people in the lane after a while, and it's like daring our big guys and daring our other guards to make some outside shots, and we didn't, we didn't make any. So we couldn't, we couldn't get them out of the lane. So after a while, there was no room in there. But yeah, we we should have gone to that more often. Yeah, that was that was bad decisions by me. That we were searching all night for offensive identity. You know, we didn't have one tonight. We were searching all night for it. And so we just kept grasping at straws, it felt like. <clears throat> you mentioned poor communication. It's kind of been a theme on defense this, this whole season. How do you feel like the team can work on that and improve? Well, in these last 13 games, it hasn't been an issue. It, would just be, it was an issue tonight. But we, we have worked really, really hard on it. And um, these last 13 games, you know, against some really, really good offensive teams, we've been spot on. And today we weren't, for whatever reason, you know, we just, 
we're not on the same page tonight. And uh, again, you know, people have bad games, people have, you know, bad shooting nights, bad communication nights. Um, you know, Notre Dame looks like a national championship team tonight against us. They got blown out the other night at home. It's basketball, you know? <clears throat> you know, the difference is obviously really stark with Nika, plus, mm -hmm. plus 13 with her in the game, minus 26 with her on the game. Mm -hmm. Did you figure out something that you, if you're in that position again, right. that you can do to, because you know, everybody's going to get in foul trouble yeah. later, right? Yeah. 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 Um, uh, I think as uh, as KK gets a little more comfortable with our offense, um, it it would be a little bit easier to to, to play without Nika. But right now, um, there's a lot of offensively that we're not um, we're not real comfortable with when Nika's not in the game. So. It was actually a pretty good lear learning experience for for our younger guys, but it's on us. You know, we have to coach um, KK better as we move on, as we move forward. Um, and you hate to say it, but we probably should have relied more on those on KK and Ash. I, I think we tried really hard to get Paige going. And maybe we should have, in hindsight, gotten more, more from Ash. Um, so you know, these things come up in games, and uh, you look at them and you go forward. Hey, coach. Obviously, you had some championship teams in the house tonight, and um, behind the bench. Yeah. Uh, Not on the bench, I'm yeah. sure. <laughs> on the bench. Can you just talk a little about what that means for you personally to like kind of look back over the last 20 years and see these players return to the program? And uh, it was pretty of, emotional when they were playing the uh, the video, especially of uh, to 2003 and four teams. Um, yeah, there was a real emotional moment there uh, when I was talking to D about it, and. Um, some of these players I haven't seen in 10, 12 years, and obviously others, you know, you see more often, but um, it, was a, it was an emotional weekend. Um, the connections that, are, that, that they have with each other, that they have with, um, with this program are pretty unique. Um, and, and, and Dee said at one point, you know, when you're when you're in it, when you're here, you don't realize it sometimes until you come back and you you try to put it in perspective. And it was um, I asked her if her team those two years played the other team on the other side, who would win? And uh, she said um, the other team stacked. I said, yeah, they have. Uh, Six All Americans. You guys have won, <laughs> which made that championship even more remarkable. Those two years. <clears throat> Do you know you you mentioned that Paige looked kind of out of it yeah. after maybe getting smacked? But what were the ways you kind of saw her struggle tonight? Was it maybe the way that they were defending her, just her not getting to? Yeah, the, they were very physical with her, which is to be expected. But a lot of those pull ups that she normally makes easily, that couple laps that she normally makes. Uh, but just, I, I, I think, I, I thought her movement without the ball was was not as good tonight as it has been. Um, and especially in the first half. I thought that second quarter, it, she really, really struggled. Um, and and th those are the nights when other people have to have to step up and make more shots, but the offense bogged down too much. It um, for the first time in about a month and a half, there was there was very 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 little flow to what we were doing. Very little. Thank you. Thank you.
Just to clarify, Paige got poked in the eye. It's not a concussion uh, issue. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. You mentioned just uh, potential learning opportunity for some of the younger players. Can you explain a little bit more on that? You know, what can they take from this experience of a game, you know, kind of back and forth and doesn't go their way at the end? Um, well, on, on on the defensive end, the <clears throat> the communication breakdowns. Um, you know, they, they happen mostly when you're younger. Um, the game's moving real fast and things are happening real quick. Um, there was three threes that West Bell made on things that were just breakdowns by us to leave her that wide open. Um, and, and those are things that experienced players wouldn't do. Um, how, do you learn, how do you become an experienced player? You just have to play more games. You know? And, and KK and Ash are going to be really, really, really good. They just struggled a little bit tonight. Gino, what, uh, to your left in the back, uh, what impressed you most about Hidalgo? He's obviously very talented. Yeah. Pretty poised to come in and, and play really well in a setting like this, in yeah. a building like this. Yeah. I thought... Um, um, I thought she was able to um, to get. Uh, I, I find it hard to believe, given that that our defense has been so good. But she was able to get to the basket way more times than um, than than we could. When someone gets to the basket that often, there's not there's nothing we can do about it because that's just a, a total breakdown. I don't care how good a guard is, and she's terrific, but for somebody to get to the basket that easily, that means there's a lot of things going wrong defensively. And to her credit, she kept getting there. And she has a variety of ways to score. Um, and she's um, obviously playing with a tremendous amount of confidence. Um, and it did take a lot. It took a lot of guts to come in here and do what she did. And uh, she, she's she's damn good, right? Yeah.